Man, the broken here here. And I'm playing another Mega Man fan game. I am playing Mega Man Rock Force. It's, it caught my attention and it's a brilliant game, I love it. I love the way it plays. I've beaten it. It even includes robot monsters from the past. Night, Bomb, Elect, Cut, Nitro, Die, Fire and Tornado. They're on my side now. Mega Man's also got another brother, Justice Man. I like his design, it's like an eagle to represent peace. And he is called Justice. And Justice is eagle peace in effect in a way. However, one of the evil robot masters is on the news. That's no good. He doesn't look very nice, does he? Yep, Mega Man set in the rock force, but as we all know, or at least probably guessed, none of the team returned. That means the eight robot masters, new robot masters, overpowered the eight robot masters from the past. So, the fact Mega Man has to do it the old fashioned way. He has to go do it himself. So, I've got um, start, load, I've got password and options. Go to difficulty settings. So I'm just going to play on the default settings, except spike damage normally starts on half, but I'm just going to go Mega Man 2. So, you land on them without invincibility frames, it's over. You can also go hardcore Mega Man 1, but I'll stick with Mega Man 2. Enemy damage, uh, checkpoints, won't really be using them as this is going to be a perfect run series again. You can make boss difficulty hard, normal and easy. Easy, they're just weak, normal. They're okay, and hard, oh my gosh. They go crazy on hard difficulty. I've tried two, I got to them. No luck like beating them, stage difficulty same. Hard basically means more enemies, awkward positions for them, and items disappear really fast. So I'm just gonna stick with the normal default settings. And let's start the game. Six months before the rebellion. It's Dr. Light and Justice Man. Mega Man, I have troubling news. There's been an energy surge at a nearby electric plant. Now the robots working there have started malfunctioning. You and Justice Man must go and stop the robots. I hope nobody has already been injured. <laughs> And so we get from right into the intro state. Mega Man, I searched the other entrance for human workers. Good luck, bro. So, I'll be right back in a sec. Just bear with me. Okay, so the intro business done. Onwards to the um, intro stage. You can slide, you can shoot. You can charge shots, and if you wait long enough, ta-da! No more noise. Anyway, let's proceed. Now, I did do research to find the names of these enemies, and sadly, I couldn't find any, so I'm just gonna call these shock that those guys shockers. These, you should know by now, Metaz. Oh, one eye jeeps. <laughs> I'm just gonna call them the first thing that comes into my head. head. for this guy to jump over and take him out. The intro stage is pretty straightforward. So you shouldn't really have that too many difficulties. Now, shoot attackers. The record 
time of recording of this, I haven't finished Mega Man 4, but I still know they're called Shield Attackers. Oh my gosh. Panicked a little bit there. Now we're on the main gimmick of this. Shoot these light switches and ta -da! the gate opens. Same applies. Rebound physics. And do the same to enemies. Take this, Matt. Hey, Matt. Wake up. Take this. So fun. Um, okay. And this enemy's here. Take him out. Jump and shoot this and the door will open. You can actually shoot off the mechs as well. Quite cool. And one more enemy. And almost the boss of the intro stage is. Look, it's Justice Man. All the workers seem to have evacuated safely. Also, all hostile robots have been neutralized. Um, what is this? You got shocked? And who's this big guy? <gasps> and he jumps up, which means we can't hurt him. But wait, what did we just learn? We learn about physics. But when he does this attack, six flares or six shocks will go down. He might jump over or he might shoot that ball all at you. You can also find him with charge shot, but I just prefer sticking with the original. Just stick with the Mega Vesta. Just don't be greedy and try and get too many shots. Just get as many as you can. Oh, just got, just got him. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, get in. Yeah, he's, he's gonna shoot six times. His other attack, I think he did at the start. So if he does it again. Come on. There it is. You shoot that all. And there you go. Intro stage perfect run. It's probably the easiest stage of the game, so for now I'm just gonna continue. Show more of the story. I'm afraid nothing can be done, Mega Man. Functionally, he is completely operational. However, the shock has severely altered his mental matrix. I cannot guarantee he will ever be the same. He woke up. Present day. Guess what? No need for the story. Let's jump right into the game. So here are the eight new robot masters. And if you look carefully, you'll notice something. But for now, I'm not going to spoil it just yet. Of course, if you've played it, I know, you probably know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's go to my new password save. Yeah, now let's save the game. Sure, save up a slot one and... Yeah, we'll leave it here. So that there you have it, intro stage perfect run. Next episode I'll be taking on one of these bad boys. For now, hope you enjoyed and laters. So there you have it, a perfect run of the intro stage of Mega Man Rock Force. What can I say, there were no outtakes, so the best I can really give this stage is I won, unfortunately. Doesn't rank any higher. The enemies are very predictable on normal mode. The mets are pretty simple. The shock jumpers, as I call them, is my made up name. There, no problem. And then the gimmick is still easy of pressing the switches. As for the boss of it, it's quite simple. If you know his pattern, he only shoots those waves when he stretches his arms out and he throws at a ball which does not fly very fast. So, very simple stage as an open, open as an opening stage. So there you go, intro stage, one out of ten. Next time we'll be moving on to our first robot master. So hope you enjoyed. 
and see you soon.